Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. Today I am in Boring, Oregon, which is anything but, to visit the National, I believe it's International, one of the two, Bigfoot Museum that they have here. So we're gonna go in, look at some Bigfoot evidence. Maybe even we'll spot Bigfoot, maybe he's in there, I don't know. But come along with me and we'll take a look at this unique roadside attraction. All right, so correction, it is the North American Bigfoot Center Museum, and we're gonna go explore the mystery. All right, so once you're inside, this looks very, very, unsurprisingly, Bigfoot heavy. I mean, there's a lot of Bigfoot, really anything um, through the years, various footage, casts, prints, memorabilia, film, props, masks, really everything from all over the world. So definitely he's here. And look, speaking of which, he is here. There he is, Mr. Foot, standing right there so you can meet him, as I am, at this museum. All right, and then as I mentioned, there's going to be a lot of casts. I mean, it starts out with just a room dedicated to handprints, uh, various handprints from the Pacific Northwest. A lot of these were taken in uh, Washington State, uh, Kentucky, it looks like. Uh, there was another one there. Um, and there's, you know, they're saying there's similar similarities on these handprints. Uh, this one is also in Washington State. Just a giant handprint. So not something that you usually see that, that matches... Uh, Kind of any any known creature um then of course i mean it's bigfoot so you gotta have the footprint itself and they have like the foot uh uh cast taken from of course various states again as well and it looks like there's a display of a heel how this heel would be predicted to look based on the cast versus uh human and it looks like he's left quite the impression all over the place, am I right? Uh, it looks like there's a heel impression as well. And this is even like an entire body uh, impression from hands to forearms to elbows to questionable butt. And then uh, just more footprints. Again, a lot taken unsurprisingly from the Pacific Northwest uh, up in Washington. Um, but kind of similar look to a lot of these. And of course, I mean, goes without saying, they're all big. Uh, and then you have kind of the, not kind of, I mean, you have the footage of Bigfoot, the, the famous footage, and I like that image above, just, just hanging out on at a campsite that day, hopefully. And then, you know, oof, I have to spend a lot of time on this. This is a uh, suspected butt print from Bigfoot. So hopefully it's what it's cracked up to be. Uh, had to do it. But yeah, reading this, it looks like uh, this is the, they said this is the one a lot of people will stop at and and giggle at, but I uh, guess I'm roughly in that camp. But they say it's also an important piece of evidence, so there you go. So no need to poo-poo it. Uh, and then there's a heel print here. And then here's a 16 millimeter camera, uh, similar to the one that would have taken the famous footage from California that a lot of people are familiar with. I believe it's California. Um, and so they're talking about, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, California, according to this magazine. Um, the very famous like turning around image and kind of what that would have essentially looked like. I think there's more to it to come. And then this pretty awesome Bigfoot mask up here. And then just below, just a cabinet full of Bigfoot uh, items through the years. Of course, you have uh, figures, a Sasquatch egg. And hopefully that doesn't hatch. Uh, and then, let's see, oh, mugs, various Bigfoot mugs and candy, um, coffee, skulls. Pretty interesting. And then uh, this is a, looks like a model of the... Yeah, this is the the day of the footage. Um, so I'll model that, and there's that famous picture. 
signed. Um, I'm not sure if it's the guy who got it, but hopefully, I wish that picture was taken that day. That just would have, you know, helped prove it. Um, but this is like essentially what that would have looked like that day uh, for the person shooting that. What's this? The smell of Sasquatch. Smell me. I stink. Okay, I'm going to take their word for it on this. I'm not going to go ahead. I, I believe them. So I, I think I'm good. And then... Oh yeah, of course, just more... I mean, there's no shortage, unsurprisingly, of footprints uh, all around. So it looks like uh, various casts. This was made in Harbor County, Washington. Um, so two half casts and a couple full casts. And again, the prediction of what the ankle would look like for this type of footprint. And this is a media room, Bigfoot in the Media. You got Finding Bigfoot, the classic History Channel. I think it's, is it History or Discovery, one of those channels. Um, them taking casts in Bull Mountain, Georgia, um, where they found a couple footprints as well. Looks kind of unsure about that, but there you go. There they are. Just like all things Bigfoot, unsure. And then, oh, there's a Bigfoot movie in here as well. Um, it says this is a model from that movie. And then there's more mentions of various movies throughout the year, in, years, including Monster Quest. I remember that. I used to watch that show pretty regularly. There's the movie poster for the Bigfoot movie. And uh, looks like it went international. And the movie is Bigfoot, The Unforgettable Encounter. An 11-year-old boy, an age-old friendship, sorry, an age-old legend, a lifelong friendship. With Zachary Ty Bryan from uh, Home Improvement. There's the VHS, so, you know, looks like a classic that I've never heard of. And then there's a uh, Bigfoot model. I remember you can get, you used to be able to get these on Sky Mall. Sky Mall still around? Well, anyway, they had these. You could put these in your yard, so you could always have Bigfoot. Hanging out with you, protecting you. Little Bigfoot. Little foot, if you will. Then this room is more kind of international Sasquatch themed, including Sasquatch footprints um, from around the world, uh, including very old prints. That's supposed to be like a fossilized print above. So yeah, lots of prints. And then the store itself, look at that. Of course, there's no shortage of Bigfoot books, memorabilia, item. I got a lot of books on Bigfoot. And a Sasquatch field guide, no shortage. And if you want to represent, I mean, there's so many shirts you can, you can get to show off your Bigfoot fandom. And even the specific Northwest style ones, that's pretty cool. And then I like this section. It's the really cheesy Bigfoot items. So you have the uh, Bigfoot action figure. Bigfoot ornaments, if you want to, you know, commemorate during Christmas, Mr. Foot. This Bigfoot uh, discovery box that Kevin and I used in another video. We did not find him. Bigfoot pens, Bigfoot and boxers. I mean, that looks fun. Who wouldn't want that? Seven feet tall. Big, Bigfoot cards. Ooh, an air freshener. I don't know. After they said it smelled so bad, but they claim this is pine scent. So, they got that. And then an emergency Bigfoot button with roars and groans, which I'm too embarrassed to press in the store. There you go. And of course, take some Bigfoot notes if you find them. All right, well, there you have it. Thanks for watching this vlog. Let me know if after all that evidence, you believe. Still not quite sure I do, but nonetheless, interesting things in there and definitely an interesting roadside attraction. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more travel type videos, podcast style, conversations with friends, etc. And thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.